A Walker County mother of children with autism spectrum disorder is working with first responders to learn how to interact with people with this disability. First responders from across Walker County took part in training Thursday at the Jasper Civic Center. Autumn Hargett is the founder of Rural Autism and organized the training. It's of huge importance because simply, simply being put that if you go in and mishandle an individual with this kind of diagnosis, um, the results can be devastating. They absolutely can. I mean, something as simple as handcuffs that any typical person could perhaps, you know, sit in handcuffs on the curb until police, you know, finish their investigation and, you know, let you go or whatever, whatever the circumstance was. Um, you do that to one of these individuals and it could be catastrophic. Um, they don't necessarily always understand um, the situation at hand, the language that's being used, or even that they may or may not have done something wrong in that instance. The group helps families of people with ASD connect with needed resources. Hargett says the group is working to organize training in other counties in the state. The long-term goal is to get everyone accustomed and acclimated and accepting of these individuals so that these people can come out of their homes and feel safe and feel secure and not feel, you know, discriminated on or looked badly upon because of a simple disability that just means they think a little bit differently and they work a little bit differently. You know, everybody is unique and that's what we're here to prove is that just because you're unique doesn't mean you know, it's a bad thing. The training applies to all first responders, including agencies like the Department of Human Resources. The acronym rule stands for Respect, Understand, Love, and Educate. Reporting in Walker County, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.